I I have a spirit here. It, it is, uh, when I drop the, uh, I don't remember what I'm going to say next. It's because it's spirits coming and it has been on me uh, almost since I started this recording. And um, is this mix of man and woman? Uh, so the the spirit have no gender. So it's I can't tell if it's man or a woman that is here. Uh, but I see the clothes of a body, and that's a dark brown long and to the floor is the clothes but I can't really tell if it's a female or a male clothes on it and uh, the spirit is saying I have been working hard so it's not the not really wealthy like it was before. Some wealthy people have worked hard, but uh, the, the, the clothes there is, is dark brown clothes, so it should not be uh, filthy. It doesn't, uh, should not showing stain on it. Uh, so that means they were working hard. And they're working with the soil, and they. It's uh, it's it's saying, uh, the spirit. It was a farmer, female or male farmer, and uh, it's about this to to put put the effort you do today into go good soil it's what the spirit are saying and uh, it's to oh I uh, what is it in English that word um, to be not only prepared but be uh, like a forerunner for these things that will take place in your life it's talking about you that listen it's um, uh, you have lived the spirit is saying this in not me the spirit is saying that you have lived more like in the pocket with the money and out uh, from the pocket almost the same day you have never, never stop, and you have never stop and thinking what you should do with the money you have got, and uh, she is saying this uh, spirit is saying that it's not about, not only about money. You have got the gift. You have got the gift of you are talent person. But you have never, never take care of it. So it's not a, only about money. It's about how you see your future. And many of you don't don't look at the future. You don't you don't want to know the future. So you, in that way, you never uh, store up or prepare you or a forerunner into what can happen that you feel you get the message from heaven but you don't receive it you don't take it and uh, do it what they are saying to you but now they are saying this to you through me uh, that you should uh, you have so much talents and you waste it for something that is only temporary. That you, you have talents that could help many people, make people happy and uh, make people to 
be in peace and not be worried about things. And uh, it's a picture of a nurse, is it? I don't know if it's the profession is nurse, but the nurse uh, is symbolic for someone that takes care of, of people. That's what hurting people, not the need to be bleeding in the body, but bleeding in the heart. And you have these talents and you don't use it. That's what the spirit is coming through. <laughs> uh, uh, I trigger maybe, I trigger maybe this with a saying about the soil that they're in Canada, maybe. Um, but she took it and um, talking about to place those things that you have got from God in in nice soil, not to waste it, and uh, don't uh, place it in soil and uh, light, so p thieves and people can come and pick it up and take it from you. You have to be careful with your talents, what the gift you have got in life. And you need to, the spirit is talking very much to you now, that the spirit is saying that, that you have to think deeper and pondering on it what was given to you from the start that you have forgotten because you have run with the with the flow with the, uh, all these people and listen to what the people have told you what you should do and say and uh, working with and, and you have not listen to your inner voice inside you what you had from the start that you run away from that's the spirit is telling you these things and uh, maybe is it that someone some some people is giving me this money on the bank I don't know how they do it I have my bank account number on one on my website I think I don't know if it's the Swedish website or the English website I have it and maybe they have find it there and give me money because they have been healed of what they hear and uh, it's not my work, it's the work I get from heaven. It's heaven that talk about healing and it's the spirits that come in here and heal you. It's not me, but I, you know I am going to Israel and I don't have that money. So uh, I always say it's okay uh, not to pay me for the work I do, but give me a donation, support me so I can do those things that God wants me to do. I know I get it in some way, but it can be uh, in the end of it that I maybe can't stay at the hotel for two months. I have to do something else. I have to beg for to be there in Israel. And uh, uh, what I think it can happen is that they see that I don't have money and I don't have the support. And then I can't come in into Israel. And then I can't fulfill what my ancestors 
what heaven want me to do in Israel, that I should take them back to Israel. My DNA should come back to Israel because more and more I get uh, in the DNA, I find out they were all church leaders in all kind of belief systems. Uh, they were, but uh, all of them is targeting Israel. They want to come to Israel, all of them. And uh, that's w the work you, you are doing. Uh, if you send the money, it's not for me to spend it for my life. It's to spend the money for their, my ancestors, that is connected to you also, uh, their life in Israel, as a, a DNA life in Israel. So, um, I thank you for the spirit that come and talk. It was important words. She, she or he was saying it was a, it was a, both gender was it in the spirit. So it was a, truly a spirit because it had no gender. So thank you for listening and I maybe did forget what to say but there is more episodes to recording. I love you and God loves you also. Thank you for listening.